What a relief. <laughs> oh, man. I got a Montana archery bowl. I don't really feel stoked. I feel, I mean, I'm happy, but I'm just so relieved. One, to have gotten one. Two, to have made a pretty decent shot. Just to make a quick recovery. Bow hunting is so much fun. And then, like, getting up to the shot is so fun. And, like, the shot itself is super fun. But then, like, instantly, as soon as that arrow goes, you're just like, oh, man. Like, you get so worried and, like, stressed about just recovering and making a quick recovery. And, like, oh, was the shot good? Like, was it a little too far forward or back? Or, you know, all these things start, all these things start going through your mind. Just a beautiful Montana bull. <laughs> It's super narrow, but it's like his, his main beam kind of like waves back in, which is a unique thing, so. <laughs> anyway. Thanks, dude. This is a really bad time for product promotion, but I've had target panic really, really bad for the last, like, basically forever. I would hold my pin about a foot above the target every single time, and then right before I wanted to shoot, I would just drop my bow arm, and then I would slam the trigger yeah it led to some very poor shooting <laughs> and so this release right here my good friend david brinker recommended it to me it is a hinge release but it has a safety on it so with the safety engaged draw my bow and when i want to shoot i release the safety and then with back tension i put pressure on these fingers and then i pull 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 until it until it breaks the shot goes a week ago I shot an archery antelope with this release and made a very well executed shot and then on this guy had him at 40 yards and same deal, made a really good shot. Especially when you're shooting on animals you get a lot of anxiety but with this release you can force it by doing by going like that but it's it's not natural, it's not like slamming a, a, a finger on the trigger. Every time I get anxiety I just like it doesn't just go off, it's like I still gotta pull, 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 and then it'll go. So yeah, thank you David Brinker for this recommendation. This has been just huge for me in bow hunting. It's made shooting my bow really, really fun again. So really excited about that. It also comes with a lanyard you can stick around your wrist so you don't lose it. So I have a rather monumentous task of getting all the meat off this guy, quarter him first and debone, or move this quarter, this quarter, back strap, neck meat from this side. I'll take all that meat and I'll put it here on this big tarp that I've got laid out. And then I will flip him and get um, the other side. And then put all the meat back here on this tarp. And once I have it on the tarp, this is just a nice clean platform for me to uh, basically debone all the meat and then put it in the game bags. In the theory, this should take me three hours. All right, so this is the first half of the animal. I've got the hind quarter, the front quarter, tenderloin, the back strap. This is all neck meat. This is just some trim meat here. There's trim meat everywhere. Like, I think you're silly not to get it. Like, a lot of this is brisket. Um, and then this giant piece, this is all neck meat, which, you know, some states, rules and regulations, you're not required to take the neck meat. That thing weighs just as much as a whole back strap. It's really good. You can make some bomb stews and stuff out of it, so, like, why not take everything? This is all of the meat. It completely fills up this 8x10 tarp. It is 1230 in the morning. Got one really big bag of meat in the pack, probably 90, 100 pounds. My bow, I leave my binoculars, leave the tarp. Got meat hanging. Probably three loads of meat tomorrow, and then another load with all my gear. And two and a bit hours later, I'm back to the camper. It's three in the morning. Try to sleep for maybe three and a half, four hours, and then I'll go back in and probably have three loads tomorrow. Time to hit the hay. And good morning. Slept about three and a half hours last night when I woke up. Didn't even know what to plan on. I was on. <laughs> super tired, but got the next load. Basically, a whole hind and the whole front. A lot of work to do today. Got my third load out. This is the third big, heavy meat load. So, with this pack I'm running right now, fully loaded with meat. In years past, it's like 90 pounds, and I've got this thing like maxed out basically. And so, so yeah, three trips at 90 pounds each, 270 pounds of deboned elk meat. So, excited to start processing that here in a couple of days. Been at it for over 24 hours. <laughs> the last load out. 
It is 10.30 p.m. I just got the last load. Back to the camper. Yeah, I've been going at it for over 24 hours now. Kind of wild. Pretty cool feeling, really, to take an archery elk by yourself, process them by yourself, and pack them all out by yourself. It's just uh, it's an empowering feeling, I guess. So Thankful for the experience in Montana and stoked to uh, do it again next year.